It's time now for the weekend rundown, helping you plan for the weekend ahead. And there's a lot happening this weekend. Joining us to help us sort through some of the events you shouldn't skip this weekend is Danny from the Luke and Howe Morning Show on WLLR. Good, Good morning, morning, Danny. Hi, you guys. Good morning. So glad to be with you. We are officially in fall and this close to the holidays. I yes. know. It took a long time, it felt like, to get to fall, yeah. I would say. Yeah, but we finally finally gave Andrew a little nudge and he, <laughs> he finally woke up, I guess, something like that. <laughs> but let's uh, talk about a parade. We know we love that. Let's yes. start with the Galesburg Veterans Day Parade. You know, the holiday is coming up here in a few days. Now, 2 p.m. Sunday, downtown in Galesburg, that will be the Veterans Day Parade. Now, it starts at Main and Chambers, goes to the courthouse. There will be over 50 groups to participate, including marching bands, veteran organizations, car clubs, scouting groups, and local heroes in uniform. And this will be the 24th year of the parade. So, of course, a, a great great type of event for everyone to be involved in and it's going to be a fun time as well because you're going to have lots of people from the community as well as honoring those who have served and are continuing to serve so that's wonderful every year right yes 24 years isn't that awesome wow that's a long time yeah yeah all right well good. speaking of the holiday yes what better way to kick off the holiday than with a holiday hop so this is going to be in downtown Moline. It's a free two-day event starting tomorrow. So Friday, it'll be going into Saturday in downtown Moline. Free for all ages with over 40 locations for vendors, events, activities. There's going to be some live music. I know everybody loves live music. Speaking of music, there's going to be a chance to win two premium tickets for the Trans-Siberian Orchestra's December 20th show which is going to be at the Vibrant Arena. From, that's going to be from iHeartMedia and Mix96. They're going to be the ones sponsoring that. And to help you get around the holiday hop, there's going to be free trolley rides. Okay. Yeah, we free love, trolley rides. Love it's free. Yeah, yeah the yeah. times for those is going to be Friday from 4 to 8 and Saturday noon to 6 for those trolley rides. And this is, this is really exciting. Oh. I've received word from oh. their PR teams. Oh that Santa and Mrs. Claus are gonna be there. Oh, okay. <laughs> Santa and Mrs. Claus. Wow. And the Grinch too, so Santa better watch his back. And that means you better be on your best behavior. Yes, <laughs> me, you better be on your best behavior, excuse me. <laughs> oh, I'm always a good little boy. <laughs> sure, yeah, we'll talk about we'll that one. We'll consult Santa on that one. <laughs> right, yeah, we need to fact check that, because I don't think so. <laughs> let's verify, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's right, that's right. Okay, well let's continue on and see, da Danny, you're talking about Davenport American Legion Post, 26 rummage sale? Yeah, with Veterans Day on the way, uh, it just seems kind of fitting that you would help out veterans and get some cool stuff, maybe a jump on your holiday shopping. They have a rummage sale going on. It's for Legion Post 26 over in Davenport. That's off West 35th Street, and that'll be Saturday. Officially, the time is 8 to 3, but if you want early entry to get all the best stuff... <laughs> It's a $7 entry fee for Early Bird, and that starts at 7 a.m., and they have a variety of things, just about everything under the sun except clothes. So if you want to check that out, again, goes back to help veterans. Yes, another yes. great event there, and, of course, everyone can think of maybe some things you can possibly get maybe ahead of the holidays and right. uh, yes. start preparing early. Oh yeah. my gosh. And we always say we, we're going to do that and then it always is last minute. It's last minute <laughs> every I single I hate year. when I do that. <laughs> Just a heads up there. All right, yeah. well, let's talk about some food. Sherrard oh. Fire Department's 22nd Annual Soup Supper. Yes, now uh, as we're getting into fall, soup becomes way more popular. Do you guys have a favorite fall soup? I do. I, I have a favorite fall soup. I really like like that cheddar and broccoli soup that you can get from Panera. It's not homemade, Ooh. but I think that's a good like creamy fall soup for the fall. Right. And on my I, end, to be to be honest with you, <laughs> I have a hard time thinking of this because you're not gonna really find me in the kitchen. Right. I, so. I had to help. I had to help Devin <laughs> but, with this question. <laughs> But of course, I'm just gonna go with the good old fashioned chicken noodle soup. There you go. Right? Or what and did we talk about? <laughs> well, <laughs> there won't be any broccoli cheddar over oh. in Sherrard, I can tell you that. Well, Ava may bring it. Yeah, maybe. I I'll, know, I'll... so 
Get banana You'll have to do it. for something else, Ava. But it's all delicious. And, of course, it helps a great cause. So, Sherrard Fire Department, and um, that'll be Saturday evening, 4 to 7. They have everything from chili, chicken noodle, ham and bean, beef, uh, vegetable beef, potato soups, all the fixings along with it. And I hesitate to mention because it's so divisive, but oyster stew will also be there. Oh. <laughs> but here's the great part. Normally speaking, the fire department would be using this to raise money for their um, uh, the things that they do there in equipment. But this year it's kind of special because one of their fire family, Alicia Rogers, is fighting cancer. So they're donating all of the proceeds for the soup supper to, for her medical and additional expenses. So it is a great cause. That is a wonderful cause. I know. I, and, and even on, oh, such a cool morning, yes. some chili around this time sounds yes. pretty good. It this sounds time like all year. your favorites are going to be there, Devin. Chili, chicken noodle. Yeah. Eat a little healthy. Right. Is that what it is? The way right? I make it ain't healthy. Huh? Right. A couple years or right, your New Year's resolution that you never follow through with, right? Yes. Every single year. A couple months left, right? But it never tastes good when it's healthy, so. <laughs> oh, okay. Must be kids. <laughs> Thank you so much, Danny, for joining us on Good Morning Quad Cities. We'll see you next week.